So, uh, is everybody ready? Yeah. Okay, then here I go. Would you like to try a rim? Okay, there you go. Check out this cool move I've been working on. Okay, let's oh. see it. Whoa. 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 Oh, oh man! <laughs> oh. Do you think you could teach me that move? All right, well, I have to go now, so maybe you can practice on your own, okay? Okay, got it. Okay. Wow. All right. See you guys. Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to the Hump Day Show. I'm JRX4X, twitch.tv first slash JRX4X. And tonight, or today, t this morning, I guess. Uh, we got we got JP, of course. Nobody cares. But <laughs> we got the Canadian bacon, the maple syrup of the Nauf, Young Leo, That's aka good. Raptors champions. You know, for a limited time only. <laughs> but speaking of the Raptors, we're actually here to talk about the NBA and the upcoming season, which actually just started today on our recording. Uh, we're pretty much going to just go over what our top eight teams, who we predict is going to win the championship and playoffs and all that fun stuff. So let's go ahead and start it off with you guys. Uh, JP or Leo, go ahead and shoot it. Well, let's go ahead and start it off with our top eight teams uh, in the NBA. Uh, as you guys know, the season has started. And I think the East is the one that is most predictable. Um, I have my top two teams, which I would actually put the Milwaukee Bucks as number one. Um, I did pr predict that they would go to <laughs> um, <laughs> He's like, hell no, the Milwaukee Bucks, bro. <laughs> I did the predict Bucks, that bro? we would uh, I did predict that we would uh, uh that the, the Milwaukee Bucks would go to the Eastern Conference final and uh they did uh they did fall short from the main goal which was to go to the to um, the NBA championship, but anyway, I do got Philly <laughs> as uh, I got. I do got Philly as a number two. Um, I have, of course, Boston as number three. Mm -hmm. uh, now, from there after that, it gets a little bit tricky. Mm -hmm. uh, I do not think the Raptors are going to be in the top four <laughs> NBA teams. I don't think they have a chance this year. Um, Kawhi Leonard was all the difference, and Kawhi Le Leonard is no longer there. Damn. Uh, as we all know, he was traded to the LA Clippers. Matter of fact, he's playing the Clip, uh, the Lakers right now Damn. as we speak. Uh, the Raptors have won their first game mm -hmm. of the season against the Pelicans, which is the <clears> bottom <throat> feeders of the West, mm -hmm. and they barely and they struggled mightily. They went to overtime, according to Leo. So uh, we we all know that the Raptors. I'll put them on the eighth. I'll put them eighth. I mean, um, what do you guys say about that, Leo? You go over there well, shaking your head. Tell them. Like Let them know. It's it's typical, you know, like American <laughs> media. Like, just putting it down <laughs> us, you know what I mean? It's fine. You know what I mean? We're used to it. We've been used to it for the past, like, 25 years. Oh, you're going to get it's used to it for another 25 years We've been, more. We've been going for, for, like, let's say five years straight. <laughs> nah, you're going to get used to it for another 25 years. Like, we were the defending champions. We don't need to prove anything else. We were yeah. proved everything last season. Uh-huh. You know I mean? uh -huh. Damn. So, right, um... I do have uh, Toronto Raptors seven or eight. It's between them and the Orlando Magic. Uh, I do think the Hawks make it this year in the sixth seed. Mm -hmm. So at least basically four and five. I don't know who to put. I guess I would. I think Miami is going to get better. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't know if I would put them in the four and five. I think they'll be in the hunt. Mm -hmm. Man, who, who else we got over there? Man, the East is ugh. What are you talking about? Well, right now, I think the the top contender for the title oh, is, Brooklyn. is is Philadelphia. Let, let, let me let, let me go ahead and put Brooklyn in there with an asterisk mark. I think well, that KD the, and uh, yes, because KD is injured. Yeah, yeah. KD's injured, and so he might not come back till later on throughout the year, maybe. Mm -hmm. So uh, I would put Brooklyn, but they still got Kyrie Irving. I yeah. do like the Brooklyn uh, Nets. They do got a good squad, uh, so I would put them in my fourth. So I'm looking at the top four teams being um, – and let's, fuck it. Let's put Miami on five. Uh, so uh, we got <laughs> – we got The uh, face of disapproval, bro. Uh, who cares? It's true. He, he wants me to put Raptors number one. They're not going to – they might not even make it to the playoffs this year. I really oh, my God. So. Wow. I really don't think so. No respect, um, yeah. Um, so I got uh, number one, Philly. Mm. Uh, number two – I mean, number one, Milwaukee. Number two, Philly. Number three, Boston. Number four, the Brooklyn Nets. Number five, I got Miami Heat. Uh, number six, I have the Atlanta Hawks. 
Number seven, I'll I'll give some credit. I'll give it to Toronto Raptors. And number <laughs> eight, rounding up the top eight teams in the East, I have the Orlando Magic. Mm. Um, as we all know, my predictions uh, about are the NBA bad. are really, really on point. I even <laughs> said the Lakers would not make it to the playoffs. And lo and behold, but that wasn't that wasn't so hard to predict. To yeah, that though. was pretty easy yeah, to yeah. predict. Yeah, though. Yeah, yeah. It's only LeBron. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, but what, what about you, Leo? What do, what do you got for the East right now? Uh, for the East, it's I think the East is pretty predictable. It's going to be uh, Philly number one. Okay. They still have this very strong team, and if yeah, it's true, if it wasn't for the Kawhi. Uh, game seven winner, then they probably would have been the champions. I'm glad you admit for sure, it. easily. <laughs> uh, I'm glad you admit it. So, so anyway, so it's um, Philly number one. I'm gonna give the Bucks number two because Giannis Antetokounmpo is fucking amazing. He's a beast. And he hasn't yeah. he hasn't stopped, so he's gonna be good. He just he's yeah. coming off a new Nike contract, so that's just gonna motivate him even more. Oh, man, China, uh, China. Trying to help you no matter. <laughs> and then number three, I'm going to give it to the Raptors because they still have the same. <laughs> wow. wow. What yes, did I say? No, no hometown what bias, huh? No, no, no hometown bias. bias. No hometown okay. bias, I see. I'm being real. <laughs> being real <laughs> right now. He's being real, real. real. They still, have the, they still have the core. The core is still there. They just don't have Kawhi. So, you know what okay. I mean? God damn They just don't have the part Dude, of the oh, second yeah, yeah, let, me you, let me tell you this. Do you know what the record was when Kawhi wasn't playing with the Raptors in the regular season? No, because nobody watched no, the Raptors. nobody watched the Raptors. <laughs> <laughs> no, let me tell you. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Let me tell you the record. 17 and 5. 17 let me tell you the Raptors Kawhi. record in the playoffs when they went against LeBron James. Swept. They got swept. Yeah. For well, two what do you expect? That's straight. LeBron James, right. bro. No. And LeBron you, James. Uh, LeBron on. James, man, come on. LeBron that, James. That all right, all right, Leo. Go right. ahead. Go anyway, ahead. Keep anyways, going, Leo. So keep going. Number yeah. three. Raptors. Raptors. Yeah. Um, number four. I'm gonna give it to. I'm probably gonna give it to Brooklyn Nets to be honest, because okay. now that they have uh, Kyrie Irving, they have DeAndre Jordan. Mm-hmm. The, the team is good. Uh, they have really good bench as well. Uh, yeah, they have yeah. really good, really good bench. Really good bench. Uh, number five. Number five, I think I would give it to. I don't know. I think I'd give it to the Pacers to be honest. The Pacers, they they played pretty good wow, last year. Indiana. Uh, Oladipo. They, they played pretty good. Oladipo's coming back from that injury. Yeah, so that's gonna be tough. But they still have Miles Turner, and he's a crazy center. So um, yeah. I think I think I think they're 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 still a solid team. You know what? I changed Miami Heat. I put the Pacers number five. <laughs> <laughs> I think, okay, thanks. Okay. Uh, number, oh number six. Uh, uh, who would go number six? Let's see. Who do we host? You know what? I, I would put Pistons number six, actually. Pistons? Yeah. I was Pistons. thinking Pistons, too. With Blake Griffin? Yeah. Oh, Wait, no. Broke? You know what? I, I switched. I, actually, I would put mm-hmm. Celtic six, Pistons okay. seven, and Magic eight. Celtic six? Celtic six? Yeah. With the squad that they have? And they don't have that... Cancer, God, they don't really have, Irving. They don't who have, who they have now. They have God this, this damn. Boston? Jason Tatum? Yeah, yeah let me pull up Boston's roster. Yeah, I don't know, man. They're they have really... Jalen Brown, Kersine Edwards, Taco Fall, Jer- Javante Green, uh, Gordon Hayward, Enos Cantor. Oh, <laughs> That's top uh, Enos Cantor? Uh, Marcus Smart, Jason Tatum. Yeah, I don't, I don't, like, Kimba I don't Walker. really see them. Kimba Walker. They have Kimba Walker. New, right? that's, yeah. that, that's pretty Look, good. Look, they have Kimba Walker. But I don't know, man. I, I don't. Kimba Walker and Jason Tatum are going to make the difference in that team. And Jason Tatum, now that he's going to have more control of the ball, um, mm-hmm. and he plays, and I got to give it to him, he plays a lot like Kobe Bryant, but he doesn't have that black hole in him. So he actually distributes the ball. <laughs> so I feel like he will that's be a cool, very man. great piece uh, for the Celtics. So I, I, I'd rather put him high. I don't know why you put the Raptors in there. I mean, but I guess. <laughs> All right, no, let's I go guess. to the West. What Come about on. the West? This, what are we talking about the top so, eight West? The West is loaded. I mean, from top to bottom. Even Sacramento, they have Buddy Holiday. Uh, I'm going to go for my first seed. I am going to go. No, no, no. Let's, let's start at the bottom first. Let's start at the let's bottom. Let's start at the bottom. Oh, come on, man. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you threw him a curveball, yeah? Fuck. <laughs> Yeah, I gotta see start, if he knows his name. Alright, start at the top, bro. Right, start at the top. Right. Start at the top. Yeah, because it gets hard, bro. The West is hard. It's not like the East. The East is easy. <laughs> so, <laughs> so with uh, the West, I would say the LA Clippers are number one. Okay. Um, for yeah. sure, for sure. Yeah. Now, number two is I believe the Denver Nuggets. 
Now, the Denver what? Nuggets. Yes, the Denver Nuggets, Nuggets are going to be a formidable team. You don't sleep on them. They were the number one seed last year. The Nuggies? They will probably be the number two. Um, these are young players that are keep in oh, mind. I'm just like because they're young, and mm. they're 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 gonna <laughs> they're gonna go ahead and come up. I think so. I've, I'm just gonna have that number two. Um, they I have know. they have Nikolai Jovic, Paul Millsap, Will Barton, Gary Woof. Harris, Jamal Murray. God, Who? Murray. Who? Jamal Murray, Lord. Who? Yeah, uh, you don't sleep on them. They they were number one seed last year for a reason. Nah, they're yeah, trash. No, they're they're a stack team. They're yeah, trash, so bro. They're, and, they're, and their bench is gonna get better. So trash. I mean, shit. Uh, so <laughs> I would pick them number two. All right. Um, number three. Man, it's so fucking hard. Lakers. The yeah. no. Yeah. The Lakers are a little bit down. One hundred percent. Yeah. Uh, I <laughs> I think because you can't sleep on these teams. You can't sleep on the Golden State Warriors. They were still we're not talking out. about who is sleeping on. I'm talking about like right now, like with the All current right, rosters. All right, I'm gonna give the number three slot. Um, yeah, let's give it to the Lakers. We'll give it to the Lakers. Thank you. I don't think they'll be number three though. I think that they will have their implosions. Uh, to be honest, I. And give, us your, give us your honest. Give us your yeah, honest. Yeah, give us the honest. People, the honest. I don't know why people, honest, don't, don't put them there I just because we're staying. Yeah. Uh, the only reason. Like the only reason they're there is because they have probably two of the top five NBA players uh, uh, right now in that squad. But the Who, reality JaVale is, McGee, Dwight Howard. No, they, they have <laughs> they have Andre. Uh, <laughs> come on, they have they have Anthony Davis and yeah, they, they have do. LeBron James. Yeah, but they, do. they have no bench. Uh, no I think they bench. do actually. I they they have okay. Their starters right now is Rajon Rondo, Danny Green, LeBron James, Anthony Davis, and Javale McGee. Their oh, seconds uh, really Ray Quinn, Rondo? Quinn Cook, Ray Quinn Rondo? Cook, Avery Bradley is actually really good. Kyle Kuzma, <laughs> Dwight Avery Howard, is, yeah. like oh, they have wild, a bit. Yeah. Jared Dudley, yeah. They're one, they're one injury away. They got, they still got Demarcus Cousins and, and, too, but he's out. And Anthony Davis. That motherfucker is injured from. <laughs> <laughs> they do have Anthony Davis. But hey, I'll give well, him well, well. the third slot. For the fourth slot, now this one is an ash, a big-ass asterisk mark for me. Um, I still think we have the squad uh, here with the Houston Rockets. Oh, uh, yeah, he said we. We have uh, Tyson Chandler as a backup. Uh, we picked up some good pieces. The, it all lies down on the two black holes. Like, with the black holes come together and not create a black hole i don't know i don't mm -hmm. know what russell westbrook uh, mm -hmm. is going to do at least i know what i can get with russell westbrook i know he's not gonna fucking disappear he'll shoot his fucking shot and miss 30 in the fucking row but at least he'll fucking <laughs> shoot but james harden that motherfucker disappears so um james harden just disappears on all, on defense not just defense in the playoffs uh, on offense he's, he's too. non-existent yeah, yeah. So, he was never even fucking there late in the games he, he disappears so at least i know what i can get from Russell westbrook but um i i feel like the rockets are not going to be in the fourth seed uh honestly the fifth seed uh i really like and people are going to hate me on me on this the spurs team the spurs team okay. is, a, is, is a standard of excellence they have the squad and they pick the piece, pieces and they have that murray guy um who's actually a good piece Mm -hmm. I would pick them at number five. Matter of fact, for number six, because of experience, uh, because of um, moving pieces that they have now, even though Clay Thompson is injured, mm -hmm. I'm going to put the Warriors uh, in the sixth slot. Okay. All right. Now, um, they, they have a couple of injuries. As we just found out, Clay Thompson more than likely will not be in this year. Uh, but they still have mm -hmm. Draymond Green. They mm -hmm. still have, uh, um, of course, the pro D'Angelo well, Russell. D'Angelo uh, Russell. D'Angelo yeah. Russell, and they have uh, uh, Steph Curry. So, I mean, you've got certain pieces in place. They don't have a good-ass bench as they did before, but I know mm -hmm. they've been working on it. And they just have good coaching experience, so I don't expect for them to be out of the playoff hunt. Okay. Um, so, for my seventh and eighth, it's very, very tricky. I'm going to go with the team that I like. So, um, for number seven, um, I am hoping uh, – well, no, you know what? Let me take that back. I think it's going to be the Trailblazers. Uh, the Trailblazers have too much of a badass squad. Blazers at number seven? At number seven. It's because, look, dude, with the Blazers, they're so inconsistent. Uh, that's a little low for me, but yeah. Yeah, it is a little low, but think about it. They, they've always, like, 
You but don't trust Lilybird? I trust him. I just don't trust McCullum. <laughs> Cullum? I don't. Yeah, McCullum is like too inconsistent in the playoffs. And then uh, their center's coming back. Hassan uh, Whiteside? Uh, and Hassan Whiteside. Bro, he was a little bitch in Miami. I don't want to hear about Hassan Whiteside. Um, he disappeared for two fucking <laughs> they years. They have Paul Gasol on that team, but he's out too. I didn't even yeah. know that. I mean, I'm telling you, bro, they're stacked, but they're they're injured as well, and they're all mostly injury bro. And who's your so, number eight then? My number eight, I've been pushing for them. <laughs> it might not even happen, mm-hmm. but I'm going to pick them. This is the year I'm picking them. Sacramento Kings! No. AC. Oh, what the fuck? You, you didn't even put, you didn't even put the Dallas in there at all. Here, no, the, no, no. The reason I don't wow. put Dallas in there, the reason I don't put Dallas in there, because I like their point guard. Um, I don't trust the unicorn because that motherfucker Luca? Porzingis Porzingis is uh, injured prone than a motherfucker. Porzingis, man, they Porzingis but they now. got Luca as well, bro. Porzingis yeah. is the most injury prone <laughs> oh player. You know who he reminds me of? He reminds me of uh, Odom. Remember the Trailblazers <laughs> yeah. picked that first round pick, and he like would always break his knee and break yeah. his leg. The one like, who's yeah. who's who's nude got slit. Correct. Correct. <laughs> that motherfucker. So, All right. Now, Leo, what do you got? What do you got? Oh, man. The West is actually really tough. You know what? I think the, the top part of the West is really easy pre- to predict, but the bottom uh-huh. part is just like it, it really is anybody's game right there. Right. So I'm going to say number one is going to be Clippers. Number two okay. for sure is going to be Lakers. If they can stay healthy and if uh, Dwight Howard doesn't, start chasing transvestite hookers everywhere. Damn! Oh, yeah, that's bro, right. Bro, why are you putting people on blast, bro? It, yeah, yeah, yeah. What, whoever he likes. <laughs> yeah, hey, matters, man, whatever he wants matters. to do is what he wants to yeah. do, all right? Toronto, Toronto hey, man, I'm just saying, yo, that, that's a fucking distraction, yo. That's a distraction. Bro, so if Toronto's he's not distracted by that, that I, don't think, I, think they'll, I think they'll be number two. That's why he's on the bench, um, so he has the time for it. <laughs> number three, number three, I'm going to give to the Nuggets because they still have the exact same squad. Like, nothing yeah. changed, I think. Okay. And they're just some players um, getting better. They're with a solid experience. team. Okay. Yeah, Jamal Murray's probably just gonna get better this year. Yeah. Um number four now, I think it's tough. I would say Hmm. I think I'm gonna give the number four spot to the Rockets. I think I think that okay. I think they'll crack the top five for sure. Okay. Um But at the same time I feel like the Rockets what? are kinda of, like they kind of fuck themselves because they do have two like super ball hog fucking players that just mm. the black hey, really you gotta like, you gotta believe together, in the, together i don't think i don't think you gotta believe in the uh be the mori al- algorithms algorithms or whatever he's <laughs> Darren no, it's not it's not gonna yeah. work, it's not gonna he, work. He, he does the math bro it's not gonna work he, he uses the, the t1 like, calculator he knows what he's doing like like before you know what i mean before they were just solo like doing yeah. their thing yeah, on yeah, their yeah. Theme. now that they're together <laughs> like they're not gonna perform as good as they did last. I year, mean, they like, played together before. So. It's not the first got, time. They did. That's the hope. That's the hope. We'll they see did, how it goes. But, and but, then, like, but, like but we were, team, no, well, team also, we like where they played together. Also had Kevin Durant. Yeah, but what I'm gonna Serge Ibaka, like, you know what I mean? That team what I was gonna stacked. say is that, that team. is that how we're talking about how how like that. How Harden like like disappears at the end of the the games. Like, well, that's where Westbrook will shine. Like let let Harden waste all his energy in the beginning of the games, and then Westbrook let him finish it off. Yeah, it's you know a good I mean? concept. If they play like that, it it, it might work. Yeah, mm-hmm. it might it's just work. tough. You know, I mean, you have two ball two players that are used to being ball hogs. Okay, so, so what's number five? I don't know. I don't. I don't think it's gonna work. Uh, number five, I'm gonna give it to. I think the Blazers. I'm gonna give it to Ooh. them. Number five, that they're You're still a lot good higher team, than like, JP is. Yeah. yeah, I don't think the Blazers would drop down to anywhere near seven. Like number five, I think <laughs> is appropriate for them. Um, and then number six. Yeah. Number six. Wow, I don't know. Like I would say, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna give it to I'm gonna give it to Dallas. To be honest, I think Dallas. Oh, the Golden State. <laughs> Porzingis, is, Porzingis, Porzingis is gonna stay healthy. If, if he stays healthy. He stay healthy, oh man, it's gonna be crazy. When has he stayed healthy to to together? When has he stayed healthy? Be Dirk is gone. Um, Porzingis is moving in. You never know. Number seven. Now, number seven, I'm gonna give to the San Antonio Spurs. Okay. I, I I really don't like. I really don't think they really have a good team. 
to be Ooh. honest. But I think they have a good enough team to make it into the playoffs. You just hate him because your old players on the squad. Ooh. Yeah, but we know what he's about. He's 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 not he's not, he's not going to do anything. You know what I mean? Like that's Damn. why we got rid of him. <laughs> okay. yeah. As much as much love as I have for Demar, and like he did a lot of well. Oh, oh, he froze. Oh, oh, getting our oh, championship. Oh. Oh, that but, DeMar, you know DeMar I mean? he DeRozan. wasn't enough. He, he wasn't enough. He's, he not, he's not a shit. championship player. So, All right. And who's number um, eight then? Ah, oh, man. This <laughs> one I think I'm going to give it to. Let's, let's recap. You got Clippers, Lakers, Nuggets, Rockets, Blazers, Dallas, Spurs. No Warriors. No, who who the well Kings you haven't said yet, or if you're gonna say it, no Utah Jazz too. That's kind of surprising that nobody oh, said that. Oh, you know what? Yeah, no one said Utah Jazz, and they probably will. Be. I, I was thinking about Utah Jazz, but I haven't said Warriors yet, so I'm gonna put Warriors. In. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, the yeah. Warriors Man, are feeling a pretty good team too. Fuck Utah. You know what? Yeah, instead of the AC like like Warriors, just announced that they're not they're not gonna have Thompson anymore. Like the Thompson's done for the season, so mm. like all they have is D'Angelo Russell and Curry. You know All right, I mean, and, so. and okay, and then let's go ahead and finish it off with. I think we talked about it, but who's going to be top seeded in the East in the finals, and who's going to be top seeded in the West in the finals? Man, I'm gonna tell you the truth, honestly. Who's meeting up in the finals, basically? I think it's gonna be Clippers and Philly. Clippers and Philly. What about you, Leo? I'm gonna say Clippers as well. Um, and Raptors. He's, right? he's Raptors. He's gonna say Raptors. Bro. <laughs> he's gonna say Raptors. Bro. I don't know. Look at it. Really <laughs> he it's wants to really say Raptors. Say, but there's gonna I, be a honestly, magical think, trade going on. I don't think the Bucks will make it. I think Philly. I think Philly probably has a better chance of making the finals. But I think okay. Eastern Conference Finals would be Philly and Toronto. Okay. And then I think Philly would probably. Philly and Toronto, the Bucks. Yeah. Lord Jesus, have yo, mercy. Yo, remember, remember oh, last year. Remember this. The, 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 the yeah, Bucks you had Kawhi Leonard. Bucks went up 2 0 against the Raptors, and the Raptors swept the next four games. And you had Kawhi Leonard. You know what I mean? So, okay, so then we'll beat them in six this time. Like, it's. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, guys. All right. Well, that's been our NBA talk. Our prediction for the new season, 2019 Woo, 2020 NBA regular season underway right now. Uh, as always, thank you so much for watching. We're on YouTube, the Three Way Podcast. Uh, main podcast is also on Spotify, USA. Anchor, USA. Uh, Apple Podcasts. USA. We're everywhere. USA. You can listen to podcast USA. services. USA. Wednesdays are always USA. different. This is what what the USA. fuck is he USA. doing? Anyway, thank you so much again to Leo for coming in in short notice, coming in clutch. JP, what's up? You good? And we'll see you guys. Let's go, Raptors. Whenever we see it. Let's go, Houston. We see you. All right. All right. <laughs> Bye, guys.